Hello everyone, and welcome to the latest Minecraft snapshot, which is probably the biggest update I've seen in Minecraft probably since biomes were added back in beta 1.6? 1.7? 1 1.8? 1 1 of those, one of the later beta ones before the Minecraft was officially released. Uh, there's new biomes, there's new plants, there's new... a ton of... There's a ton of stuff to show off, so I'm just gonna start off with the quick things to show off are the new flowers. Of course, dandelion was already in there. The rose has been changed to a poppy. There's the blue orchid. Uh, these are all also... These are all found in different biomes. Some biomes are come Like, I'm pretty sure the blue orchid, I remember seeing that. I was flying over. I think I saw that in a swamp. There's, a lot of, there's also a lot of little changes I'll, I'll get to. Uh, allium. Allium of some kind. I... Don't ask. I, it's just one thing I'm definitely not good at are plants. Uh, Azure Bluet, and a bunch of red tulip, orange tulip, white tulip, and the pink tulip. Now let's just clear out my inventory real quickly and get cracking on the rest of the plants. As you can see, the decor, you go back in the inventory, the decorations box is now has a different plant. And this is all the new plants. They're there. Uh, let me just grab all the other new plants or updated of other plants that have slight changes um and the daisy which kind of goes in line with these guys here but the first the, i remember when they first gave a preview all they showed was this a sunflower you're like what do you do what does that do uh generally speaking boom you can see they're always facing east it looks like if that's helpful at all. They face east. Uh, next thing we have is the lilac, which is a too high, a too high plant. Oh my goodness, that. Okay. Uh, I'll get to, you saw that changes there. I'll get that in a second. Um, yeah. Lilac, tall grass. It's like grass twice as high. Large ferns, a fern, but twice as high. Rose bush, that was the bush, man. Rose and peony is something like the red rose bush. Um, uh, yeah. And if I, if I, if I, I believe, oh, game mode S. I believe you can do this and you get the dyes out of it like you're used to. Um, yeah. Game mode C. That's that update. Another update you guys saw, you go to the options. Super secret settings. You cannot click on that. If you guys are curious, nope, sorry. Video settings. I mean, whatever. It's the same thing. But music and sound. Boom, you got more options. If you like the music, keep the music. But if you hate this, if you like the weather, you, know, you like the rain, but you think it's too loud, you can just lower the weather and shut it up. Uh, enemy monster sounds, player sounds, jukebox, the sound of music, uh, the jukebox and note blocks, blocks and environment, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, no, that's another of the changes. Um, what? There's just, there's so, oh, duh, fish, fish. They've added... Actually, let me... Fishing rod. And then, boom. Regular fish you know. They added in a clownfish, a puffer fish. Ah, silverfish. We all know what a silverfish is. Um, they can't actually do anything. Is there any water? There's some water. Another thing they added in... Let's see if this actually works. Uh, when you... Why is that? No. Come on. Thank you. Um, when you go actually go fishing, maybe, they, you'll get more items when you go fishing now. More than just fish, and the new fish they've added in. No? No, it's not gonna work? Well, let me, uh, I have, um, uh, fishing mechanics. Uh, you can now, f I, I have the, uh, change log up, up, uh, to my right on my other screen. You can now enchant fishing rods. Damage, damage fishing rod. They'll pick up damage fishing rods, uh, name tags, lily pads, saddles, and da or damage boots, cause you know the joke. Uh, up to fifteen different items can be called the salmon, the clownfish, pufferfish. Three piles of rewards: you treasure, junk, and fish are different things you can grab. Um, oh, another thing is, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do this. Oops, nope. <laughs> do it this way. Watch this. Boom. You see that splash? Yes. If you fall from a great height of, I have no idea, two blocks or three blocks, you will uh, take, there will be that. Um, God, what else? There's just so much. I mean, that's, 
Oh, uh, another thing is the achievements are, uh, have arrows on them, so you know what order to go in. I think that's about it for that one. There's just so, so much. Hold on. Um, anything that's really important? Uh, new blocks with the biomes and stuff. New trees. I'll get to that. And speaking of new biomes and new trees, I have. If you guys have noticed, I haven't turned around because, well, yeah. Look at this. The arch. Look at this arch. It's like three. It's like a three-legged thing with, and they've improved the waterfalls. They're more grand, bigger. So there's one little thing. Water. It's huge. Um. And they've changed the uh, extreme hills biome. It's now have it where there's down below, there's no snow. But as you go up, there is snow. And they're also, they seem to be bigger, the extreme hills biome. And let's see, other biomes. Oh, the uh, the far the spruce forest biome for some reason. I don't know if it's if it was on purpose or it's just a glitch. Uh, it does not. I repeat. No longer has snow in it. Yeah, I don't know why. It just, just the way it is. I love chickens. Um, and and I am going to stop. I'm, there's so many biomes. I'm gonna instead of me just flying and hopefully finding some, I'm just gonna fly without recording. So I shall be right back when I find some of the new biomes. But this before I go, let me leave give a list of the biomes. We have the clay biome, the clay canyon. Also known as the Mesa, people call it the Mesa. Redwood forest, uh, cliff, savanna, root forest, birch forest, flower forest, sunflower, plain biome, uh, and the stone beach biome. Yeah. And yeah, I'll be right back when I find, uh, well, the next one. Alright, I have found one of the biomes after flying for a few minutes. It is the R Redwood Forest. However, if you go to F3, you'll notice how it's called Mega Taiga. I don't know why. Basically, it's just, imagine the spruce trees, except they're 2x2. Two two. They're much taller. And there's a lot of new... Pot, pods all is one of the new blocks. Don't ask me why. It's some kind of... It looks just like dirt to me. I don't know what you can do with it yet. We're just, you know, this, this, this snapshot just came out today. We'll, you know, we'll all be figuring stuff out as time goes on, but I figure just to give you a quick overview of some of the new additions, and another thing in here is you'll notice the random mossy cobblestone all over the place. Um, what is in it, you say? Absolutely nothing. I've, I've checked before. Here's nothing. It's just a random mossy cobblestone. Square block, uh... And from what I'm hearing, actually, I'm, I'm reading the, the log. You can't grow grass on this new dirt. Uh, da, 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 they're not in here yet. Actually, no, they are in there. Never mind, they are in there. <laughs> no, never mind, I'm like, wait, no, those dirts are in there. But if I have anything mistaken or I'm missing anything by the end of this video, just... You know, I'll have a link in, scope, uh, in the description to the Minecraft forums where they're updating it with all the stuff added in it. Um, I think that's about it for this. Yes, I think that's about it for this for this biome. So, yeah, I shall be back when I find some. Uh, some more stuff. Although, actually, you see, you got mushrooms. Oh, yeah, you got the double tall ferns in here. I'm just gonna do another quick look. I think that just about covers it. Oh, yeah, and there's. Yeah, this is the dirt. Yeah, never mind. I'm reading there. This is the dirt that won't allow regular grass on it for whatever reason. I guess it's because of the look. There's not enough sunlight and there's dead bushes. Um, yeah, anyway, I shall be right back when I find another biome. I hope you like the redwood forest. It's actually pretty cool. Well, I've been flying around, and I noticed some other new change. The sugar cane is now a darker shade of green. Yeah, that's about it. I'm like, that's, that's not terribly exciting. Sugar cane is slightly darker color. What do you do? Anyway, yeah. Be right back when I find a new biome. And I have found another biome. As you guys can see, this is the 
savanna biome, and it is actually called the savanna, unlike the redwood forest, which is named totally wrong. Uh, yeah, savanna forest is kind of... Oh, what's the best way to explain this? Oh, yeah, they have it described as a curved acacia-like tree. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is actually just jungle wood. <laughs> Yeah, I know that. They're basically just redesigned looking jungle wood. And then the grass is, you know, slightly more brown looking. And regular trees. And yeah, I mean, these are actually pretty cool looking trees. I mean, they're actually... They're not all the same looking. I was looking, I'm like, yeah, they're all quite different looking. This is pretty cool. And I uh, ignore the non-loading chunk here. Uh -huh. oh, cool little hills, too. Actually, this is... This is another cool little biome. It's de totally different from the redwood. Well, not totally different. It's pretty different from the redwood. Redwood one's, you know, a bunch of tr big trees all in case. Not quite biome. Not like a biome. A jungle forest, but yeah, this is pretty, pretty cool. Oh, yeah. I remember reading other changes that this doesn't really count here, but they've ba added back in gravel beaches, which were taken out a long, I believe it was a long time ago when they took out gravel beaches. So yeah, that is the savanna biome. So that's redwood and savanna down. I still gotta find a clay, cliff, roof, birch, flower, sunflower, stone beach. Although I guess stone beach biome is kind of, you know, the name's kind of a giveaway. So yeah. Anyway, I'll be right back when I find another new biome for you guys. Alright guys, I have found the next biome. Or let's say I should say another new biome. It is the birch forest biome it's exactly what it says it's a f biome made out of birch trees that's all it is pretty simple but you know what as i said you know they were at a lot of new biomes some are more subtle than others and this is definitely probably one of the most subtle ones i have seen so far because it's just regular forest biome but just birch trees but it's still kind of cool you know a little different you know it gives you a little bit more variation in the game even though it's not the biggest change I've ever seen in Minecraft, <laughs> especially compared to the last two biomes, especially the redwood biome, man, that's a big change, and guess we shall see when we get to the other biomes, some of them sound ridiculous, especially the cliff biome, <laughs> that sounds crazy, anyway, and this biome apparently has the, has these guys, oh uh, man, I'm forgetting the name of all the flowers, the peony, yeah, okay, it has that guy, um, I guess, um, there's really not much else to say about the birch tree biome. There seem to be somewhat taller birch trees in it. I guess. Slightly taller. They seem to be... A couple of them seem a little bit taller than they, than I'm used to for birch trees. Usually pretty low to the ground. Or I'm just going crazy. One or the other. I don't know. And as I said before, the... Yeah. Sugar cane. And, oh, another change. Uh, you know how you double tap W? Wait, wait, wait. Can you hear this? I don't know if you heard that. That's me double tapping W to sprint. Watch this. Actually, you can't watch this. I'm pressing W, right? Now I'm going to press Control. Boom. Sprint. They actually added a sprint button. But one other thing you can do, if you're doing parkour maps, you're like, well, you got a time that just right to press W, then Control. No, you don't. You press Control first and hold it down. Then you press W and you sprint automatically, which is going to be quite useful for parkour maps. Make them a lot... It's like, oh, oh, that's easy. I don't have to double tap W and, like, getting fails because of it not working correctly. Phew. Yeah, that was a mouthful. Anyway, guys, I'll be back when I find another new biome for you guys. And here we are, guys, onto the next biome. This one is the flower forest biome. Should be very hilly, full of flowers and trees. I don't know what else to say about this one. I mean, you got a ton of flowers, different kinds of flowers. More variation, of course, to the biomes. Big, well, I was like, what was that? Oh, yeah falling yeah um anyway the lilacs oh, man man my tulips tulips you got the tulips here that is a lot of flowers i guess it is called the forest biome the forest far flower forest biome for a reason man that's a mouthful for me only i'm sure you guys are like how are you mispronouncing that sorry i just i just all this stuff is so cool there's so many additions it's like as I said before, the biggest update to Minecraft probably since beta 1.7 plus or minus one version. I can't remember exactly where that was. Oh, look, planes, regular. 
forest hills. So what you're used to. Anyway. Because I'm getting out to that biome. Anyway, I shall be back when I find some more biomes for you guys. Okay, guys. Technically, this is not a new biome since I, you know, the extreme hills and I showed it off before. But this has got to be one of the coolest things I've seen in Minecraft. Just naturally. I mean, look at this huge waterfall all the way up here. Look how big this mountain is. It's ridiculous. It's, it's as high as the... It is as high as the clouds. Wow. I think that's the first time I've actually ever seen something. This is crazy. This has got to be the coolest thing. Um, I guess... Actually, if you guys are interested, there's the seed. It's completely random, of course. I didn't... I just loaded a new world and bother putting in an actual seed in there. Anyway. This is actually really cool. So, yeah. I guess, um... Yeah, <laughs> anyway, we've got six more biomes to find. The sunflower biome, the roof forest, dark forest biome, the stone beach, cliff, saw biome, the mesa, clay canyon, the ice spike, ice spike one. No idea what that is. I'll, no, I'm sure I'll know when I see it being called ice spike. And the new jungle edge. Edge. The, the edge of the jungles are now a little bit different. So, yeah, I shall be back when I find one of those six or something cool to show you guys. Well, I just came across something that is not on the list of new biomes. I guess because it's not quite a new biome, but look at this savanna. And if I fly over it, you will see savanna plateau. So I'm assuming it's just a savanna in a mountain area. That's, that's the difference I can see. That's actually... This looks like a really awesome place to build. And I have not found any other biomes. I've been searching for probably about 20 minutes. Some of these must be really rare, because I've had no luck finding anything. But I figured to show you guys this, because it's... Wait, how tall... Wow, I think this is a new record right here. This is a new record. Wow, that's, um... 147. That's crazy. 147 blocks above sea level. Or 147 meters. I mean, totally in real life, I mean, you know. You're not going to have a Mount Everest in Minecraft. But still, yeah. Anyway, I'll be back again. When I actually hopefully find some of these new biomes, other new biomes I have yet to run into. So, I have found a mesa, guys, and I think this biome is glitched from what I've been reading, that I'm not the only one who's seen this. Uh, yeah. Need I say more? It's apparently, f apparently floating. Mesa Plateau. Well, it is a plateau, alright. It's a floating plateau. This has got to be the oddest thing I've ever seen. Can you imagine trying to survive in this thing? It's floating. So yeah, guys, I found something new. It's the Mesa. It's glitched and it's being worked on. This is a problem they knew. Minecraft, uh, well, Minecraft, Mojang knew, but they just, but uh, I guess they released it anyway. It's something. I guess it is a snapshot. It's just really for testing purposes, so they can find out more glitches. And well, I I call this a glitch, all right. Oh. It's the weirdest thing ever. Look at all the ores. Um, no new ores though. Uh, just new biomes. Um, yeah. And then the edge there—it's kind of odd because I'm assuming there's supposed to be land under here, like a mountain. It's supposed to be like a mountain because it's called a plateau. Usually, plateau means a flat area high up. You know, a high, a tall mountain that's flat on the top. You know, big flat area. It's usually, what a plateau is. So, yeah. Here is the mesa. Plateau, all weirdly messed up. Yeah. Anyway, we still have some more, more biomes to go find. I shall be back when hopefully those actually work correctly. Well, guys, I have found an ice spike biome, and as you guys should be able to see, this ice here is not. I take an inventory. Um, is not the ice. You know, you think of regular ice, but they've added a new called pack ice. And what I've been reading, see the difference? Translucent, not translucent. Um, you cannot melt the pack ice with torches or lava or anything. Uh, this is actually a really cool biome. Because, I mean, what's not, what's not cool about it? I mean, it's freaking trees, kind of just snowy and ice and hilly and... I, and all of a sudden, my room goes from feeling hot to feeling cold as soon as I find this. It's like amazing. It's like it works in real life. Okay, that was terrible. Um, yes, this is the ice spike biome. Um, uh, also doing more reading. The cliff biome is really just the extreme hills on the side of an ocean. Um, if I ever come across that, I'll show you. 
But what's left really is the roof forest, dark forest biome. That's the main thing that is left and a couple of other changes that hopefully I will find for you guys. And yeah, I hope you guys like this ice spike. Little ice spike biome. It is pretty cool. So yeah, I shall be back when I find more of these new biomes for you guys. Alright guys, I have found my first jungle biome and the new edge or new things that now spawn in the jungle biome are melons. Naturally spawning melons. Which is pretty cool. Nice little change to the jungle biome. Um, this one is about to burn. About to burn down. I must say. Um, hmm. I don't know. Did, were the jungle trees always like that? Were that separate like that? I don't remember jungle trees looking like that. And there might actually be an update to the jungle trees I have not read. So... There you go, guys. That's another new update, actually. It's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, there's a couple of things left to find, and yeah, be right back when I find another one of them. After a little bit of searching, guys, I have found the cliffs slash stone beach biome. Be over it says stone beach, even though it's really some crazy cliffs. It's actually really, actually really cool. And yet, I would almost expect like some crazy cave inside here or something this is basically it's kind of extreme biome it's more of extreme extreme, extreme hills on the side of the water this is actually really freaking cool i like it that's actually one of my favorite things i've seen besides the ice spike one because that was so weird it was awesome so yeah um what else we got left the jungle i've done the jungle edge stone beach ice spike uh it's really just the roof forest dark forest and that will be it f for really Significant biomes. I mean, there's a sunflower plains, but it's just a plains biome with sunflowers in it, and that's not a big deal. But yes, I shall be back when I find a dark forest, roofed forest biome for you guys. Um, yes, I hope you guys like this cliff one. It is freaking awesome. Yeah, anyway, be right back. Alright guys, after a little bit of searching, I have found it! The final new biome that is actually significant. Actually, pretty, pretty cool. The, well, okay, this is not a very big one, but, uh, the roofed forest biome. And this one actually has giant mushrooms that spawn in it, which is, uh, the first biome to do that since, um, well, the only biome to ever do is the mushroom biome. Obviously, you got mushrooms in the mushroom, get out of here. It's, uh, the mushroom biome. Uh, this one, I don't know. It's kind of cool. Actually, let me stay in the middle of it. It's not a very big one, but I did find it. Little two by they're two by two trees instead of you know just one block. Um, little part more overhang. It's supposed to be, I guess, roof forest. You gotta have a roof, although I don't think it's. I don't know it doesn't quite the full effect. You know. You know what I mean? I was expecting it to be dark. You know, an ominous, an evil feeling. It's just, I don't know, not quite there, but it's still pretty, pretty cool. Anyway, I guess that is about that. That covers the snapshot of all the new biomes and the new updates. This is, uh, well, it's actually taking me a while to find everything. I have no idea how long this video is actually going to be. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this snapshot video. And then hopefully looking forward to all these new biomes. And what are you doing? What are you, what are you, what, what are you doing, sheep? What are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? Anyway. Yeah. Anyway, there's so much new stuff. This is actually, this is amazing. It's funny, not that long ago I was complaining, like, God, I feel like Million hasn't done much. Like, the last bunch of few updates in Minecraft haven't done anything significant. And then, then, boom! I mean, crazy. All these new biomes. Uh, let me... Yeah, I got the list. I mean, we've got the Clay Canyon, the Mesa Biome, which is completely bugged, doesn't work correctly. Uh, the Redwood Forest, which is right, one over there. Uh, the cliff tentacle, the cliff biome, the savanna biome, the roof biome, the birch forest, the flower forest, uh, stone beach biome, and the sunflower plains I has the one I did not find, but it's not, like, the most significant thing. Imagine a plains biome like that, except with, yeah, sunflowers. Wait! No. There it is. No, those aren't sunflowers. Never mind. Never mind. I'm like, there it is. No, it's not quite. And, actually, uh... A ravine. It's been a while since I'm realizing it's been a while since I've actually run into a ravine. I've only run into a few, um, at least above the surface in uh, this seed. So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this snapshot video, go below. Be sure to hit that like button. 
really helps me out. And if I missed anything, I will have a link below to the forums and the wiki. And yeah, I shall catch you all next time and see what the next snapshot has to offer. Probably, hopefully, the Mesa biome, the Clay Canyon biome, will be fixed. So anyway, thank, thank you guys so much for watching, and I shall catch you all next time.